Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video today here. And in today's video, we have an HP laptop here. And this one is an HP 15-EF1008 uh, model. Again, in this video, I'm gonna take you on step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace your battery for this model. If your battery is running really low or not holding up charge, this video is for you. And this also applies for any HP 15-EF series. So it doesn't have to be exactly 1008 model. So any EF series, this applies for that. And it's gonna be a really quick, short video. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop completely and you wanna flip it upside down. And on the bottom cover here, on the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna find yourself only two available screws that are visible. There are a few more hidden screws under these rubber legs right in here. To get to them, you need few tools. Tool number one I would suggest to you guys to get is iFixit screwdriver set. You can get the pro version, which includes your opening tool and many other stuff, or get the simple screwdriver set. And from this, we're gonna grab a Phillips number one. These bits are made out of S2 class steel. They are really tough and steel. And for the opening tool, I'm gonna be using a guitar pick. The guitar picks are metallic ones are really suitable to opening covers, plastics, and many other stuff. And they're hard to scratch uh, covers. When, by having the guitar pick, now we're gonna remove the front end and the back end rubbers by sticking the guitar pick under the covers here and slowly peel it off. Has a little adhesive. Once you lift it up, don't go over like this. Otherwise you're gonna crack the rubber. Just bring it up gently and push it up, help it out and remove it. This is just has a little adhesive to it. Same thing on the back cover. Just lift it up from the corner and pull it up. Once you remove the, here now you're gonna see all the three screws under the front one and three on the back side. There are two types of screws here. The black colored screws, one for each corner, and the chrome screws, which they go all over the place. So go ahead and remove them and keep them in two different piles. The black ones in one side and the chrome side ones in the other one. Also, I realize there's only 1% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. If you guys find my content helpful and helping you guys out, and you wish to support the channel, you can do it by just clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel. It will greatly uh, help and motivates me to make more videos and answer your question, take requests. I really appreciate it. All right, once you remove the screws, you're gonna grab your opening tool, or in this case, a guitar pick, and you're gonna open up the laptop in 45 degree angle, just like this. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover about two or three millimeters inward. And now you want to twist it towards the outside like this. Keep twisting and go all around in the front end. All right, once you hear those big clicks, you want to keep doing that all around. Go to the side, twist it to the side, twist in real hard. Don't be afraid, you're not gonna damage anything. Once you did that, go ahead and close up the lid. Now in here, we're gonna grab, put your thumb right by the hinge here, right under the screen, and grab by your fingers the top cover, and you wanna peel it off, bring it up a little bit, just like this, and Move it around, wiggle it around, and pull it up. There's a few clips in the middle here. So those are the one the hooks are ho holding from the battery. Once you remove that and everything is exposed here, the battery is right in front of you. To remove the battery, there's a chrome screws on each corner. Go ahead and remove the, all the chrome screws that hit, touches the battery. One by the jack, one on each corner. There are two here, and 
on this side there is no screw at least so there should be one two here three four five screws once you got that and just lift it up by here by the jack just peel it off and that's your battery the model for the battery is an HT03XL but if you want to get it from directly from HP the HP spare part number is L 1119-855 that's L1119-855 I'll try to get the link for one of these ones and I'll leave them in the video description once you got the new uh, battery bring it on align the battery right by the screw holes right on the contact and push it down towards the contact and the last step down here would be to put the screws for the battery. Alright, once you put the screws for that one, just grab the top cover, bring it over, and push down the corners really hard so you hear those clicks. Go all around, go to the corners, to the back middle. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to open up a little bit. And if you see an opening gap like this one here, just pinch it, grab both of them, pinch real hard, and it will crack, it will snap right in the place. And in the back corner by the USB here too, just grab it and squeeze them back together. Okay? And you can also open it up and squeeze the back in here. Make sure all is snapped in place. And the last thing would be to just Flip it upside down and put the two black screws on each corner and the chrome screws all over the place. Again, remember, once you power on, it will tell you that CMOS battery in date and time configuration was reset. So don't worry, just press enter and go to your windows and the windows will automatically adjust and resave the date and time for the BIOS when you have an internet connection. This motherboard does not have any BIOS battery, so. Again, if you guys like this video and helped you guys out, you know what to do, click that like button. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them all as soon as I can. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.